about third grade, it's time for your final project. Hopefully you get to this. If you don't, that's okay too. Um, so we are going to be creating Robin Mead inspired landscapes. So landscapes, obviously you guys know this by now, are a drawing painting of outside. Okay, so this is just one example. I have another one. It doesn't have to look exactly like this, but I'm gonna show you how to go about this. So you're gonna get a paper, and you're going to get a pencil. So that's where you're gonna start. My screen just got really dark, what's happening? So you are going to just start drawing your landscape. Now when you do landscapes, it's important to start with the item objects closest to you. So you can either put your paper vertical or horizontal. It's up to you. I have an example for each of them. Um, and you're going to start with the things that are closest to you. So in this case we could do land, we could do water, we could do you know whatever. I'm gonna do a little slice of land right here. Right? We'll do some flowers now we are going to be going over this with black glue i know that sounds a little crazy but that's what we're going to be doing so you don't want your lines to be too close together because you're going to have to put glue over top right so just i'll show you i'll put ones that are really close together and just show you it's just a little difficult Okay, so I'm just gonna add some random circles in here. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm just living my best life, you know? You know? Now, I have my land. Now I'm gonna make water. To make these, you just go make a spiral, stop, and then choose a spot. You just go like this. You can make another one going the opposite way. Love that. Super fun. So now I have my foreground, middle ground is my water, and we're gonna do a background. So I'm just gonna draw a land line back here. Maybe do some trees over there. So this all right here is gonna be ocean. So I'm just gonna do like some squigglies in there. And then we'll just do this, maybe some mountains. Sure, whatever living my best life. We'll do a sun. Now we can either do like a circular sun or you can do a sun like coming over the mountain. I'm gonna do a sun right here because this space over here is really empty. Make some lines. You can alternate your lines, make them different, you know, zigzags, whatever. Live your best life. Now, once you have your drawing done, you're gonna go over all of your pencil lines with black glue. Now, I have made this for you. When you first get it, I've made this, so it doesn't come like this. But you're going to give it a little shake. Make sure it's all mixed together. Then you're just gonna open it. And you're gonna start going over your lines with the black glue. Take your time. You can make some of your lines skinnier, you can make some thicker, like if I want this line to be super thick, I can just me super thick line. Or you could like smudge it a little with the tip, if you do like that. Do a really skinny one. You could double up your line. Okay, live your life. I'm going to show you why it's difficult to do things when they're really close together. So like these petals are super close together. So it's kind of difficult. It might get a little muddy, you know? You know what I'm saying? But live your life, okay? Now, once you, we're gonna pretend at this moment that I have gone over every single pencil line, right? So we're gonna swap this out for this one. So this is dry. This glue is dry. Once you have 
this, you are going to get watercolors and you're just going to start adding color. So we know how to use watercolors. You dip in water first, go into whatever color you're feeling, and just start adding some color in there. Take your time, make it beautiful. Now obviously if we're going to want to use reds, orange, yellows where our sun is, right? We're not going to put like green in our sun. Then water here, that'll be blue-ish, purple-ish, greenish, whatever. But once you're done, you'll have something that looks like this guy. So very exciting, very cool project. I hope you guys have lots of fun. Have a good time. Bye.